Hello, Swaddy Carp. Ricky and Isan here across from the little creek across from my house. And believe it or not, people actually fish in this thing. So, I got someone looking at me over here. Little Lily is over here checking what her dad's doing. What are you doing? Hey? You checking what I'm doing? The twins are doing much better now. They were a little unwell previously. Daisy's learning to read with huge curiosity. In this video, I want to talk about being a good father and like how far I've come. And I feel like now I'm really becoming a good father. I've previously struggled a lot with mental health. And as people are commenting and saying in my videos, they can see I'm doing so well now. And, and they can see like just how well I'm doing and how well I am doing with the twins now. And a lot of that is thanks to Room TR as well and the help she brings me. How are you doing, Lily? Huh? So they're wearing beautiful little shirts. They've got different shirts on. One says, love grandma. Or they both say love grandma in English, but one says love yai, which means their mum's mum. And one says love ya, which means their dad's mum. So they've got the, the love yai and the love ya shirts on. And the twins are now 15 months old and I just can't help it reflecting at how well it's all going now and, and how well the dad I am becoming for them and it's making me feel so good about life and, and a lot of that comes down to my mental health and my stress and I want to share you guys a great benefit I get it is definitely this drink I've shown you guys before the magic minds mental performance shot. This thing does wonders for my sleep as well as my stress. So today is actually day seven of having my Magic Minds performance shot. And I want to talk about the benefits I get from this and how it helps me better, be a better father. Because as you know, I'm, I'm not on the coffee. I'm caffeine free. And this gives you some of the benefits that you would get from a caffeinated beverage without that crash later on in the day. And it just keeps me going as a father. I'll give you a personal example here. Ah! I previously shared just how stressed and anxious I get going to pick my twins up from the village when they stay at grandma's. And I can't tell you why that happens. There's no reason for it to happen, you know? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Today, I'm driving there to pick the twins up and and I didn't have it. I seriously didn't have the anxiety. I actually shared it with my friends, Rowdy and Ant. Like, I, I often share with them the anxiety. I've shared it with David Lemon Farm as well. When I drive to get my twins, it's not healthy. Definitely, thanks to the Magic Minds drink. So Magic Minds is a doctor's validated mental performance shop that launched five years ago after 10 years of development by medical researchers and doctors to achieve the best possible formula to give you the best benefits today. Very stressful last seven days. Obviously the twins have been sick. My YouTube account got hijacked and hacked. That was stressful in itself. And I think without this drink, I would have pulled my hair out. What hair I have left would have got pulled out if I didn't have this keeping me a bit more calmer than what I usually am. What, what sets Magic Minds apart also is with each bottle that they sell, five cents will go to mental health charities in the United States, which is helping the homeless and the homeless crisis in America. There is also a 100 day money back guarantee. So if you buy the product today and you're not satisfied, you've got 100 days to get the money back, no questions asked. And Magic Mind now ships to 65 countries around the world. So it doesn't matter where you're tuning in from, it's likely Magic Mind will ship to you today. So if you want to give Magic Mind a go today, go to magicmind.com slash isan20, that's I-S-A-A-N 20. Use the code ISAN20 to get 48% off your first subscription of Magic Mind in the next 10 days. Or if you just wanna do a one-time purchase, you just wanna buy one box to see how it goes, use the code ISAN20 and you'll get 20% off today. Getting a little bit restless. The cartoons are keeping them calm and collected. It's a little bit warm today. It's, it, it's still that funny balance between storms and the heat. So I'm hoping later today I'll take them down to the park and maybe do their first playground experience. They've never been on a playground before. They're probably still uh, too young to do it. But 
why not just take them for a little bit of fun? I can sort of go down the slide with them or something. Uh, but they settled in very nicely today with me. Obviously I've shared, you know, how we struggle a lot. Uh, the AC my dad brought doesn't really, doesn't really do anything to be honest with you. It, it makes the room really sticky and we're actually, we've got a bit of a solution at the moment where we can move to another place as free air conditioners. We're just trying to figure out if we can do it. It's the same rental agent, but we're locked in on a contract here. So yeah, it's just a place open right now. And um, all that's come from was just talking with Rung Tiwa yesterday about what are we gonna do going forward? Hot season will come back in March. We've got to be prepared for this for the twins because they'll be, they'll be living with me possibly seven days a week by then. And we've got to be able to beat the heat rather than, and, and I'm more worried about nighttime than anything. During the day, we can, we, we, we can hold it out, you know, we can just sit around the house with the fans going, but at night, you, you, you need that air or they're gonna have shocking sleep, aren't they? Um, obviously, you know, people like to criticize their room, but I mean, you're not necessarily in the bedroom much. They've got their cots, they've got their cots. That's where they do their sleeping, but I mean, I, I, I don't know at the moment what else I really need to add to their bedroom. Most Thai kids don't even have a bedroom for those who like to criticize, but where, where I've come as a father now and where I think I was even just seven, eight months ago when I moved into this house, I've, I've just come, I've come so far and I, I feel like I'm getting proud of myself as a dad now. Yeah, I've had, some, I've had some shocking moments as a dad. All, all this is new to me and it's all new to everybody at some stage, but I've just probably ended up in a deep end without really doing much planning or preparation because I didn't think I really needed to and yeah. And part of, you know, wanting all these YouTube videos to remain and I'm gonna back everything up now is so I can look back on these one day. These videos are my journals. I want the twins to, when they're older, to tune in and see me, how I've made things work in such, um, an insane circumstance in life. So I am, I'm really proud of what I'm becoming as a father, even with the twins, like, I mean, planning now to give them a shower in my shower, rather than filling up that little uh, bucket tub that you'd, you'd fill up, I'm thinking, and I, and I love feedback, give me feedback. I know uh, people love to share tips and ideas in the comments, but I'm thinking maybe we're a bit past it now. They can walk around. Why can't they just stand in the shower and I'll give them a regular shower like I do? And I think for them, it's gonna be a bit of fun. So I'm looking forward to trying that out today. And even just with the foods, obviously I struggled a lot with the foods and now we're experimenting a lot. We're, we're testing what they like. We're figuring out what they like. Lily's got a sweet tooth, like her dad. So, you know, giving her a little cheat here and there makes her very happy. It's obviously been a huge learning curve being a father and you could have suggested I was one of the worst fathers ever eight months ago. But now I feel like my twins will look at me as possibly the best father ever. And uh, yeah, it would have been easy for me to pack up and go back to Australia with them, wouldn't it? The whole decision for me to have children was for children to grow up here in Thailand and that's what I'm gonna fulfill. Just, just seeing where I've come and where, where I'm getting with my, my twin daughters now and just thinking in another six months, in another year, where we're gonna be at. In another year, they, they're at preschool, man. Like, geez. I've already been discussing it with the family. Like, when do I go enroll them somewhere for nursery? Um, Cause that's obviously been a concern previously of mine. It's no longer a concern is that I'm in charge of schooling. I'm in charge of where they go to school. I'm in charge of where they go to nursery, kindergarten. Um, and you know, that, that's all fine and clear, but uh, that's not to say they're not gonna help me out and give me advice that, you know when I should be enrolling them when I should be doing this because all, all this is new for room TR as well and we're just sort of uh, learning on the go and yeah making these twins have a happy wonderful life and hoping these twins look up to me in the future and are proud as uh, are proud of what I've done as a dad just like you know me my brother and sister we, we, we look up to our mum and dad too and we're, we're proud of you know them as parents you can only hope that uh Keep being myself, because that's all I am in these videos. I just be myself. That's what one of my best friends in Australia said when he watches my videos. I'm just myself. That's who I am. Uh, probably come ac probably come across a lot more confident than I am on uh, on camera because I'm probably a bit introverted and uh, keep to myself more in real life unless I get to know somebody. But even just seeing how far I've come 
talking to a camera. You know, I'm, I'm proud of myself that, but uh, this is about fatherhood and this is about giving my twins the best possible opportunity I can in life. You wanna play SpongeBob? Or do you wanna watch the Bulldogs grand final DVD? We can only do one. I'd rather watch the Bulldogs, mate. What do you reckon? Watch the Sydney Swans lose another one. Oh, you, wanna, you wanna watch the Bulldogs? Eh? Hey, what do you think? Looks like Daisy's gonna be a gamer girl. She's getting all the old PS4 games out. You wanna play Yakuza? Huh? No. I know. Kids playing video games always gets a bit of flack, doesn't it? But wouldn't you rather your kids stay home playing video games over going out on a motorbike, especially here in Thailand, when you're 12 years old and you go drive a motorbike down the street? So if, if, if they became gamer girls, I'm not going to be upset at all, mate. I'll probably play with them.